Hey and welcome to the Board Game Bat Cave. This week we are talking about a not new game, but it's still new to us. Nothing personal. Yeah. Uh, if you've ever heard of Tom Bassel, then you may have heard of this game because he is a co-author on it and uh, put out a lot of the expansions as well. So, uh, Nothing Personal is a game about being basically influencing mobsters. And depending on which expansion you get, you can have made up mobsters or you can have actual mobsters movie mobsters, um, gang members, whatever. And so there's some historical uh, associates you can you can buy that on. We only played the base game so far, so we're going to review just the base game without the uh, expansions. And we're going to do it in the traditional uh, components, theme, gameplay, and replayability. And we're going to start right over there. Components. 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 You got, you got to love these games. I, I like to judge games and the components now. I like the the, the heft of them. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can pick up a really, you know, because he buys games all the time. Chris does and everything. <sighs> and he'll be like, uh, I played so and so for this. And be like, really? This is a, so this is what a $70, $70 game looks like. I don't think this is actually 70 but I'll judge it and then I'll pick it up. And it'll weigh like 40 pounds. I'm going to be like, this is a $70 <laughs> game right here. You got your money's this, worth. This could kill, Just in cardboard. This could kill a house pet if it fell <laughs> off the table on or whatever. The components for nothing personal, awesome. I mean, the board looks really nice. All the cards, really high quality, good full-size card stock. The, you know, and it's not all looking the same. Money looks different. You know, the influence markers look different. Mm -hmm. They're all well done. You get the dawn ring, you yeah. know, like kiss the ring, baby, and everything, you know. So whoever is the capo, the, 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 the capo of the game and everything. So you're wearing the ring and everything if you've got the juice and all that stuff. Uh, there are actually some metal coins in there too yeah, yeah. for various other parts of the game. Anytime you're you're putting in that kind of quality components, I'm going to be a fan of them. Well, this is made by a guy who is a board game reviewer for yeah, a living, yeah. so yeah. he and knows it, what people. Yeah, want because say. other reviewers, if they review a game made by a reviewer and they cheap <coughs> out on them, you, you would never hear the end of that. Right. right. I'm going to tell you right now, the components of this. Uh, I have not seen a game with much better components. Not many games. Well, the, wise, not. Yeah, no. the the gun game. Catching guns. Uh, Catching guns. <laughs> great little with the they give you the yeah. full size foam gun. Yeah. That's that's a better one, you know, just because you actually get something it's more innovative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, this is up there, man. I'm gonna go the components for this game. Uh, nine five, you know, because there's a wide variety of components and they're all good quality components and they do the job well and above. Well, so nine five. I mean, I agree. Uh, like I said, he Tom knows what people want to see in board games who play this kind of board game, which is not your Target or Kmart board games. These are yeah board gamers play these games, and he knows what they want to see, and they want to see metal components. Yeah. They want to see heavy duty components, forty pounds of cardboard components, mm -hmm. and so I, I I'm right up there with you. I'm thinking the nine point five because. The artwork is great. I love the artist on it. Um, the just anything in metal nowadays. I mean, used to Monopoly came with all little metal components. Yeah. Now, it, it makes a difference, man. Because I tell you what, once you put on that ring, and it goes to somebody else, it's not like they're gonna forget. You know, <laughs> I mean, if you get control of that. The first words out of your mouth are, you, you're wearing my ring, you know? <laughs> you're pulling it off their finger as you're laying that card down or whatever. Because, you know, that's what you're going for or whatever. It's not like, oh, uh, two rounds ago, I should have gotten that ring. Yeah. Oh, no, you're going to remember. That's yeah. right. So 9-5 yeah. Yeah, so for me. That's excellent components. There's no question, yeah, you know. <clears throat> as they've said, Tom Vassell, he talks all the time about components and... Uh, he definitely is not just talking the talk. He walked the walk with yeah. this for sure. Uh, you know, as Chris said in the intro, this is not a new game. They routinely come out with some expansions, so there's some newness to it. But 
it's a game that I've wanted to play for a long, long time. And part of the problem with having so many games is it takes a while to get to them all at, uh, eventually. It was, but, hard, uh, you know, it was hard to get for a while, too. Yeah, if you that's true, that, too. It's was, uh, it was kind of hard for me to find at a reasonable price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are asking and, a lot of money. And I think bucks. some people that make games, they worry about maybe the pricing of their games. Sure. So maybe they, they cheap out on it. They think, if I, if I put up this game and it's too costly, people aren't going to... No, I, I beg to disagree. Tr- gamers... Mm-hmm. Whenever they see a game and they see that price tag and they think, well, that's a little bit more than I would normally pay. But then you see what the components are, yeah. a, a gamer is going to buy that game. Yeah. And, but they're fighting against a lot of board game companies who are trying to force the cheapest version down your throat. Yeah, right. Well, they're wanting the highest quality, so yeah. uh, it's a middle ground. If he just happened to be someone who a lot of people yeah. you know, knew his name would carry some weight, so yeah. that's why he probably got his way. Maybe, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I think he pulled it off, and I think it's fantastic, and so I think maybe for my first time, not the first time at the Batcave, but for me, I believe this is my first ever 10. Wow. Uh, I, can't, I can't think of anything that they could have done better. They even give I, you little bags. Little yeah, plastic yeah, bags to put include, your stuff in. And yeah, the boxes. And little tuck boxes. Tuck boxes. And, and, they, did, they did everything right on yeah, this. Yeah, it really... Even the dice themselves are custom dice, but they're well done and they're they're not little bitty. It's yeah, it's it's a ten. Yeah. If you want to know what a ten looks like for components for me, there you go. All right, there you go. And now we're gonna go right into theme. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will bitch every now and then about, oh, it's another zombie game, it's another mob game, it's another blah, 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 or whatever. And this is a mob game, mafia game, but we've played mob games in the past where it was mob themed, and they were probably, you know, quite a few were done right, but they just kind of used that theme and they really didn't dig in too much or whatever. They pasted it. Yeah, this is a mob themed game. And they do elements of this game that I haven't seen before in other mob games. You know, the influence thing, the way you can... Uh, blackmail. And the blackmail, the... The miracle. Knocking people, whacking, whacking people and everything. You know, the different elements or whatever. They, they've gone with the mob theme and they, they did it well. They included a lot of different little components, you know, and everything. And it took us a couple of rounds to realize what we should be doing. Yeah, yeah. And once you get the rules down, it's an in-depth kind of game. There's a lot of strategy in there. There you know? is a lot of hidden strategy. Yep. But it's a really, it's a well-done mob-themed lot of rules and a lot of nooks and crannies and stuff, too. Nothing seemed out of place. Everything seemed like it fit. And I thought it was really cool and well done. So, theme, yeah, it's another mob game, but it's a well-done mob-themed game. So... I'm going to go 9-5 again. Wow. Yep. I was just saying, when you were saying we played a lot, we have played a lot of mob-themed yeah, games yeah. this year, uh, and I was just saying in one of our previous reviews that I wish this would come back because it's one of my favorite themes, and it yeah. didn't seem like there were a lot out there, but yet here we are playing all these mob yeah, games. we've played five, four, five, six, something like that, you know. There are quite a few. Lately. More yeah. than I would have been able to name off the top of my head. Yeah. And uh, it is one of my favorite themes. Uh, I think... Recently, I gave a Cowboy Cthulhu game a 10 rating on theme, which I normally would not give a 10. But um, this is pretty high for me because Mm. not only is the theme something I'm interested in, but they've gone different directions with it. They've got the historical, they've got the movies, TV, they've got the people you don't know. uh, But they also, everything in the game is based on the theme. Mm -hmm. So the influence markers are just like a mobster would use, and then the, the whacking people and the yeah. trying to make a move on somebody, yeah. um, and then you wind up rolling the wrong dice and you wind up dying yourself, it backfires on you. Mm-hmm. Everything seems to fit the theme. It's not just yeah. something you do in the game to move your guy up a board. It's all related to the theme, and so for that, I'm going to give it a 10 also. Yep, mm-hmm. yep um, the theme really works, and I, I'm with Chris on this also. This happens to be 
one of my very favorites right up there with Pirates. I think last year was, for us, the year of the Pirate game. Yeah. This year is starting to seem like maybe it's the year of the uh, Mafia organized crime games, maybe a little bit. But uh, this, is a, this is a genre I really <laughs> like, and it's a theme that I really like. So that helps. But then it needs to fit. And uh, with nothing personal to me, it really does. It, it fits well. You, you've you got uh, the pyramid, you know, the power pyramid of Ooh. your lower associates and then moving up and you got your underboss and the capo and all this good stuff. So um, I think that works well. And of course, it's all about, you know, in that world, it's all about influence. It's all about who, how much pressure can you exert to get your way, to get your influence uh, and your reputation you know, all your reputation is all based on what influence you wield in that community. And that plays out in this board in front of you perfectly, I think. So it's a little bit of a ringer because I happen to love that theme, but it fit great and it worked out great. And they carry it through all the way, you know, sleeping with the fishes and, you know, it's just, it's all in there. It's, yeah. it's good. It's, it's a nice job. And then there's, plenty others in this with this theme this one just to me uh, was was a good fit and the gameplay worked well with it which we're about to talk about in a second um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nine a nine a solid nine I can't think right now <laughs> what would get it better but uh, we'll stick with that uh, I think another thing is that if I'm in a game like this about the mob and with the same idea seems like your first instinct is to make everybody in charge of a gang or a, a family yeah. and have them competing for the top spot. But in this game, everyone is just influencing all the mobsters. Yeah. So you can go one round, the guy's working for you, and the next round he's working for another guy. Yep. Yeah. And so that's another interesting aspect of this game that you don't, you wouldn't think about, I guess, normally. Yeah. All right, so that's the theme, and now we go straight into gameplay. Gameplay as far as the uh, the rules, the strategy, there's a there's a learning curve for yep. this game, and you know I think we had a pretty firm grasp on all the rules by the end of the game. Mm -hmm. But the first round or two, to be expected, we were learning and picking up stuff or whatever. And uh, now that we know how to play the game, I definitely want to play it again because I want to incorporate strategy from the beginning, right out of the gate. You know, I feel like I wasted some time there and everything. <laughs> but, uh, you know, now that I said there is a learning curve or whatever, the game, there's a lot of strategy to it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about this. Yeah. And, and just like uh, a, a mob kind of theme, maybe a criminal thing, there's definitely ways to mess with the other players, you know, a ton of different ways. Mm -hmm. You can let somebody think they're doing well and kind of play them, you know, or whatever, <laughs> sure. and let them go for it, and they just ruin their day. <laughs> yeah. you Not know? that you enjoy that. No, game. no, but I mean, there's uh, there's uh, there's quite a bit of rules, but they're done really well, mm -hmm. and there's uh, a lot of strategy, and that can be done well also, and I dig games like that because... Yeah, I feel like my strategy would change playing that from game to game, you know, and everything. Yeah. And uh, it was nice. It was a good, well-made game. I'm going to go uh, nine on the gameplay and everything. It's just because we played games that were smoother, maybe not so high a learning curve or whatever, and the strategy might have been a little bit more involved. But this had all of that at a really way better than average level, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything was good. Uh, I don't know if anything was just awesome, great, better than I've seen before, but it yeah. was pretty pretty darn top-notch, so nine for me. I think the gameplay, we talk about a learning curve for this game, I think the learning curve is based on the strategy more so than the actual rules, though. Yeah, yeah. I think that the you don't realize what you're missing out on in the beginning because you're absorbing everything or whatever, and you're kind of missing the whole, I should be... You know, getting these people to kiss the ring every round. Yeah, yeah. I've got the ring. I should be making these people bow to me or <laughs> offer me money or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, offer me money. <laughs> Anything you want. So, 
think they were, that's what we missed in the first couple of rounds, more so yeah. than actually knowing what to do. And that's that's a sign of a very uh, uh, levels of it has different levels yeah. in it. And so when we do play it with the all the expansions that we have, which we have all of them right now, yeah. uh, we're gonna break out. It's gonna be messy. It's gonna be bloody. Is what it's gonna yeah. be. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. gameplay. Just a few things that I had to consult a rule book about that I didn't understand, uh, but I think that's all gone now. Yeah. So I'm thinking um, uh, I'm going to give it a nine for gameplay because it pulls you in. Yeah. The deeper you get into it, the more you, you can't get out of it. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question. This is a lot of fun to play. And uh, yeah, I agree. There was... Uh, there was definitely a light went on moment for me, and it was, I think, about maybe round three when I realized, oh, this is, yeah, there, there's, yeah, you know, learning curve or just figuring out what strategy you're going to take to it, however you want to say it. There is, there is something about it. There's a little more than meets the eye with this game where you start going and you're doing okay, and then all of a sudden you'll realize, oh... I need to really be looking yeah. ahead and thinking a little more. And this is a great game to just mess with your buddies because, yeah, yeah you can you can kind of see where they're going and they're making some nice headway and then you pull out the perfect card at the perfect time and just ruin their day. And they're going to be on their heels for the rest of the round at least, if not moving forward, you know. So, uh a ton of fun to play, especially if you're in a group where you can talk some crap back and forth, you know. And, uh, and I think and what I like about it too is this is there's not a lot of luck to this right? game. That's true. There are there's some lot, dice to be rolled, yeah, but that's it, minimal. And it's a lot of strategy yeah. and gameplay and thinking a couple of steps ahead. For sure. But the other guy's thinking a couple of steps <laughs> ahead too, you yeah. know. But there's yeah. not a lot of oh, crap, I rolled bad, or this guy rolled good, and my whole strategy is trounced. Right. Yeah, There's right. not a lot of that. I mean, you've got a lot of control, and I like games like that, where the better you play, the better chances you've got of, it's not a luck thing. Right. I agree, but at the same time, there is just enough yeah. to add, introduce yeah. that degree yeah. of luck where it's not a for sure, Yeah. and that's great, too. So, yeah, I liked this game a lot, and I liked it. I think I liked it more every time I played it, you know, um, which will lead us into our next category of replayability. But right before we go there, for me, play, gameplay on this was, was a lot of fun, and it's going to get another nine. Excellent. And I would say that, uh, you know, in round four or five, I can't remember which one, you were like 40 points ahead of us. Yes, I was. And I was yes, like, I was. this uh -huh. is ridiculous. Yeah. How could you even catch somebody like this? And then by the end of the game... You beat me by like one point. Yeah, yeah. Close. So once I figured out how to get this thing going, there is there are it, it's not as runaway as it looks. So yeah. there's some levels. Well, we, there. and we've all we've played a lot of games. We play yeah. more games than the average yeah. person or whatever. And even you know, out of five rounds, first round or two, it's, ah, ha ha, learning the rules, <laughs> and a little jab at one another, and then round three, round four, you kind of. You can see the yeah. blood thirsty. Mm -hmm. Round five, it's like you're you're writing the notes <laughs> with the different letters on there, like I've kidnapped your children, you know. And I, <laughs> that level of blood thirsty. I mean, round five, gloves off, you oh, know. Yeah. Last or gloves man, on, depending yeah. on yeah. What last you're man, do. last mm -hmm. man standing. Then, but uh, I, I dug the gameplay. No question. Replayability. Replayability yes, is the last category. I This is one of those games where I'm definitely interested in playing again. Let's play it right now. No joke. Yeah, <laughs> after this. <laughs> Strategy is awesome. I've been thinking about it. Now that you know how to play, it makes you want to play it more. Once you For got a good grasp of yep. the game. Mm -hmm. And it's it was a fun, like, a, you know, it can be a BS game. You could rag on your buddies or whatever, you know. You could drink a beer playing this game or whatever. And uh, it, there's a... <laughs> But uh, replayability is going to be pretty high on this for me. Uh, a matter of fact, I'm going to. 
How high? I, I'm actually going to go. Uh, I'm going to go nine on this. Yeah. It would not take anything at all for somebody. Somebody bring up the title, and I'd be like, "Let's play." <laughs> Let's do yeah. it. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm just talking about it. Makes me want to play. But yeah, uh, replayability. The only thing against the game would be its length to me because it's not a quick game yeah. at all. But It'd take about an hour. If you look at it from the aspect of do I want to play this game? Yeah. Yes. Only thing that would stop me is if I ain't got time to play this game. Yeah. So, replayability is really high. Um, I'm gonna give it a nine point two because I don't want to go all the way to nine point five. How weird! But I don't want to go down to nine. I just want to throw mix it up. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So nine point two for me. Okay. Nine point two. Higher than yours. Nine point two yeah. five. No, just nine point two. Absolutely oh. not. Oh, oh yeah. Crazy. Oh, it's more like a nine two two. Oh, okay. it's gotcha. Next to people in your freaking <laughs> hundred places decimal system so yeah like I was saying for me um, a game that makes you want to play it again more every time you play it is a little rare but it's a really good sign for me and this game had it you know so therefore replayability for me right now having only played it a couple of times a handful of times but been aware of it for a long time and been interested in it for a very long time um, but yeah, I think the replayability is through the roof on this game too because you're not going to be able to use the same strategy every time. The the board, you know, the cards yeah. are not going to line up. The cards you had, your influence cards you have in your hand are not going to match up with what you might want to what you did the last time. And you're probably going to discover, you know, a new idea halfway through game one that you want to try in game two and so on and so on so i couldn't tell you what my strategy was for the first game well, whatever it was you need to ditch I know, it I, <laughs> but i'm saying it wouldn't match what i would do this next time it's one yeah. of those games where you, you find your rhythm when you're playing that game mm -hmm. and that dictates how you're gonna do it or whatever you know i don't think there's anything locked in there that you want to do every game right to right. win, there's a bunch of different ways to go about it, you know. I agree. Like team up yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. And then, of course, you still you still have some randomness with some dice in there. So even if you think you're just going to follow your same plan, you're going to have to roll those dice at some point. So yeah. replayability, very strong for me again here. Let's keep it even at 9.0. Ooh. All right, there you have it. Uh, all four categories. Games, it's it's a high score game. game, and it should be. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well done. We want to see this game and more expansions come out for it. So, uh, if you, we're going to stick the score right here. And if you think that's a score that that necessitates you going and buying this game, then you should get out there and buy it because I think it's already in like maybe the second print run or something. And yeah. once this game is gone, it's going to be expensive to it get. It deserves it. Good game. So yeah, it really is. Good game. Uh, well done. Go out there and snap them up. Until next time, we'll see you next time on the Batcave. See ya.